Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create these intersecting circles infographic using Affinity Designer. For this tutorial, I'm using Affinity Designer 1.8.3. So before we start, we need to create a new document. For that, we go to Files, New. I'm going to my presets and I'm going to use my 1080p background that is 1920 by 1080 pixels. You can use any uh, preset that you want. If not, if you want to create something like this, just only here on the layout, just enter the width and the height and then click, click on that plus and you will add the preset and then you can rename it and you can use it. So for me, I'm going to use that one as is my classic one. Also remember, go to view, make sure that you have selected show guides, show rulers, show context toolbar and show toolbar. Another thing that I want to bring to your attention in this video Something else that I want to comment and to add in this video is that I'm using a new cast key uh, visualizer. So when I press any key, you will see here at the bottom left of the screen, the keys that I'm pressing. And if I'm pressing the right button of the mouse, you will see a red circle. And if I press the right one, you'll see a green circle. Okay, perfect. So with that out of the way, let's start it. So first I'm going to create guides. So I'm just clicking and dragging and I'm going to set that one in the middle and I'm going to do the same for the horizontal one. And then I will, let's go to view and let's click on lock guides. So now you can move them. Now I'm going to select my ellipses and circles tool. I'm going to hold command and shift, click and drag, and I'm going to make a circle. Let's make it somewhere there. Now let's go to at the bottom here to our transform tab and click on this icon. So basically both are exactly the same. And I'm going to put it at 300. And now I'm going to select my move tool and I'm going to center that circle. Now I'm going to hit command J to duplicate and I'm going to multiply this one by two. So we make it double the size. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one in the middle until intersect with the other circle. Let me change the colors so we can see what, what are we doing there. And this one, I'm going to make it something like this. Let's make it green. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the opacity so I can see what is underneath. So as you can see, that is my main circle and that, that small one is going to be used as a reference. Now let's select the green one. Hold, hold Alt, click and drag, and now you can select Alt, and I'm going to actually put it uh, in in the other side, and I'm going to change the color of this one. Let's just change the hue, and then I'm going to hold Alt, click and drag. You can release Alt, and I'm going to put it right in the middle. And obviously, I'm going to change the color for something else. Let's put it something like yellow. Now I'm going to take the first circle and I'm going to delete it. Perfect. Let me move everything there. Good. Now that we are there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking parts of the circles out. So I'm going to do, well, sorry, before we do that, I'm going to click and drag and select everything. And I'm going to flip it um, horizontal that one there, vertical, sorry, and then I'm going to move it up to the middle. So now we can see clear what we are doing. So I'm going to create this one and this one. So this one, command J to duplicate, and this one and this one, and I'm going to subtract. So now we have that one, if I do like this, and then what I need is, 
Aha, uh -huh, before I need another one. So let's get back a few steps. There we go. I'm going to command J that one as well. So this one with this one, and I'm going to minus, and I'm going to uh, unselect it now. This one, and then we need to, and this one as well. So command J, and this one, and this one minus so now we have that other portion there so if we move like this and now we need the green one and the yellow one so this one needs to go up by one on top of that one and then we can do like this and now we have as you saw in here we have this perfect so now we have the main shape uh, now we need to create the shadow that goes in there. So for that, I'm going to click and Command J, duplicate this one. Now I'm coming here to my contextual toolbar and I'm going to click in Enable Transform, bring in the center and I'm going to put it right in the middle there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this one, uh, something like that. I'm going to click in the yellow one, Command J. I'm going to select both, and now I'm coming here to my intersect. So perfect. So now I'm going to click on this one, and the yellow one, Command J. Move back again, this one, into that intersection. As you can see as well, all the lines become yellow when you intersect. So I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to move it something like that i think it should be fine i'm 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 bold. i sorry okay come on jay this one i'm going to select sorry this one we can move it a little bit more something like this i'm going to select those two back again to intersect and now the last one is this one so sorry is this one come on jay the blue one Let's move it to there. Let's make sure that we are in the right position. No, you see that one there. Perfect. So I'm going to move it something like a 14 degrees, more or less. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'm going to duplicate this one, select that one, and now we intersect back again. So now I'm going to take all those little pieces and I'm coming here to my color tab and I'm going to make it black, mm, something like that. Now I'm going to select this one. Let's make 100% color. So this one, I'm going to make it blue, actually. Something like that. I think something like that will be fine. This one, I'm going to use the blue, but then I'm going to move it to something like a red something like that and this one i'm going to use again the base color of this one and let's make it something something there more or less in this one sorry i did something wrong there that one there because i need this one and now let's change just only the hue uh, i think it's something like that it will be fine Perfect. Now let's take the black ones and that one is actually the shadow if you see there. So we can make them, we can bring the opacity down. I think it's something like that will be fine. Perfect. So now I'm going to click and drag to select everything and we can group that. Maybe we can make it a little bit smaller. No, I think a, a speak like that is going to be fine. Perfect. Now we have to put the numbers, these numbers and the text and then the icons. So let's start with the numbers. So I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to put 0, 01. And I'm going to change uh, for, I'm going to use... Uh, sorry, I need to use, I'm going to use um, Avenir, Helvetica, I think El Lato will be fine. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, let's say, and let's make it bold. So I'm going to put that one somewhere there. Hold Alt, click and drag, 
put it somewhere there and this one more or less the same now double click in the delete two and let's do the same in this one delete three perfect so now we have the numbers and we need the text for that one let's go to our tools let's click and select uh, frame text so I'm going to do something like this for now and what I'm going to do is right click insert filler and what I'm going to do let's use Helvetica I like that one actually a lot I think it's six points will be fine uh, let's go back again Helvetica uh, we can use light or regular let's see how it goes and uh, let's see I think it's six pixels will be fine uh, sorry points will be fine we can put something there alt and click and drag so we have the a copy uh, something that we need to do I'm forgetting something very very special in there let's change the color to white in all of them I think it there is perfect now we need to put the uh, the icon so I think it's something like this remember that this is infographics if you have a I'm, I'm putting just only the lot of ipsum in uh, in the filler uh, if you have something uh, some text obviously you need to uh, complete that with the text now one of the new additions uh, in affinity designer this one is going to be quite quite nice so what I'm going to do is we need to insert the icons those icons that are there and those icons actually I took them from from the stock so I'm using pixabay I'm looking for vectors and uh, on icons as you can see there where I'm, I'm clicking and I got these these icons there double click it takes you there directly if not click and drag so we put it into the document okay so it's a document inside a document uh, sorry um, that one there okay and if you double click on this one so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the background and I'm going to use the plane command C I'm coming here this one I'm going to delete it from there and I'm going to paste it somewhere there I'm going to make it a little bit bigger bring it there change the color to white I think it's something like that will be fine the other one that I'm going to bring is actually this word control command C sorry command B let's make it a little bit bigger Oopa. command set there we go let's change the color to white let's move it somewhere there and the last one is these two people come and see come and be paste let's make it a little bit bigger let's put it somewhere there and also let's make it white as well so this feature of the stock there so you don't have to go and fetch it on your browser and then coming back all those icons all depends on what you're doing but you can use any icon but you get the idea I'm going to click and drag group everything then I'm going to click a rectangle I'm going to change I'm going to make the background as I always do and I think uh, let me see that color there and let's go to color and let's make it a little bit lighter and maybe a little bit more greenish and less saturated something like that I like it like that perfect so layers there and this one so we cannot select it command zero and and fantastic I think that's it for this video I hope you like it if you did please remember to subscribe 
give the thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and please leave any comment, leave any comment in the section down below. Thank you very much for watching, and like always, I'm seeing you in the next video.